So folks, we've been learning about a mole, and we now have moles a lot of things. We learned about molar mass, but this is where we learn how to use it. it. Turns out that the molar mass is like a conversion factor. So can you write out the molar mass conversion factor? So anytime that we have anything here in terms of grams, we can write that per one mole. And where do you get the x? This is from the periodic tables. Ah. Every time that we are doing molar mass, in fact, that's going to be that's going to be our go-to kind of mantra. Like if we say molar mass, it's gonna be like, well, like you're getting shocked. It's immediately gonna be the periodic table we're working with. Now, we can also convert from moles to Yeah, the, the Avogadro's number, right? So we can particles, what there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles in one mole. Now remember on our calculator, we don't write times 10 to the 23rd, we use the double E button on our calculator. Right. And also, when we say particles, what do we really mean there? Well, there's a lot of things that could be a particle. Like an atom could be a particle, like an atom of gold, but so could a compound, like a, a molecule of, of carbon dioxide or something like that. How about donut holes? Could they be particles? Well, yeah, it could be donut holes, but we're not going to work with donut holes. We're sure, work sure with... we can't work on that? <laughs> yeah, no, well, we can get some if you want. But we, we're going to just use stuff from here, the periodic table. So particles of, of gold or whatever. Now, so we... let's do a conversion. Yeah, uh, before we do that, okay. uh, there's a pathway that we sometimes use. It's just kind of a, a cheat sheet for yeah, where we go. Yeah, yeah. So in the middle goes moles. Moles is particles. king, right? Yeah, and then on the outside, you can go to say particles on the right. It doesn't, actually, you can put it on the left, it doesn't matter. And on the left, you can go to, um, to grams. Now, and which conversion factor, Mr. Mitchell, do you use when you go from grams to moles? So we're always going to use this conversion factor at, when we go to grams to moles. Now, one of the things that, that we were talking about prior to this, oh yeah, the double arrow is really important here, thank you, and it looks it integrated so smoothly with my blue. Um, <laughs> if you take a look at this right here, this is a, a one way to write it's it. It's a conversion factor, but remember, any conversion factor, you can flip it. So we have the moles on the bottom here, assuming that we have moles on the top and we're going from the moles here. To but I could else. just as well written one mole equals x grams. And we could flip it over. So yeah. both of these here, we can flip and flop as much as we absolutely So let's do an example. Let's say that we have five moles of gold. Do you want to do any decimals after this? Or just How about 5.00? Oh, I love yeah. that. All right, 5.00 moles of gold. Now we have to decide which of our two conversion factors do we need to use? Well, what did we say we wanted to go number to? Two. We want to go to grams. Want to go to grams. Oh, I, I forgot to say it. You probably forgot to say <laughs> I forgot to say grams. We're going to go to grams. Yeah. So if we want to go to grams, so which one are we going to use? We're going to go from moles to grams. Now we have to ask the question, do I leave the fraction or do I flip it? Now, Remember Mr. our Peter, train tracks? Yeah, train tracks. And I would say that's number over one, right? Sure. And I need to get rid of mole. So mole goes, well, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it the way it is. So one mole is equal to, and I've got the periodic table here and the Mr. Bergman uh, glasses because he can't read, 197.0. And since both those numbers are on top, I'm going to take 5 times 197.0, and I get 985. Now, what units are left? Can you show, Mr. Dewey, just what units got well, canceled? Well, I, I actually would I take in umbrage with what you did, the order you did in here, because I'm a big fan of just destroying units right off the bat. Yeah. So as soon as you see a mole here and a mole here, you don't let it stand. Just cancel it out and use a different color for learning yeah, purposes. Yeah. And I, 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 you can underline like this, grams. or you can even circle it for, again, yeah. circles make learning better, right? And then that's grams of AU. Now, Nate, notice that he didn't write just grams. He wrote grams of AU, moles of AU. It's important to actually label its grams or moles of a particular chemical. So make sure you're labeling that. Now right now you might be like, psha, old man, why do we have to do that? Well, the next trust, yeah, we're gonna be actually converting and, and doing reactions where there's more than one element. So if you get in the habit of it now, it's gonna be a lot easier for you down the road. Okay. So we try another one? Yeah. So what would be another example that we could do? Let's just try a, a make-believe one and we're gonna go with, you know what, I, I fall in love with 5.00. We're All gonna right. go 5.00 oh. times 10 to the 26, and I'm going to call this particles. Now, uh, particles of what? Well, and here's the thing: it could be anything. But uh, I, again, I fall in love with the idea of gold, so I'm going to use gold again. I got the gold on my fingers. Yeah. So okay. here we go. So uh, I want to convert that to what, though? We want to convert that to moles. Now I'm going to use the fancy abbreviation where we don't put an e on the end. So why don't we write out what we know as a fraction over one? But so we don't write the word. Well, we do write particles, I guess. So we're going to start off in our train tracks, and remember, we always put what we have in the upper left-hand corner um, of our table. And we'll put the one down below because 
Um, my class, I tend to get lazy and not put that in here, yeah. but Mr. Bergman likes doing that. So now what we need to do is we need to look at our two fractions. Fraction number one, the periodic table one, or the second one, the Avogadro number one, and clearly it's the Avogadro number one. Yeah, because here, if you want to go from particles to moles, we have to use this one right here. Now the question is, do we flip this or do we leave it the way well, it is? I noticed that particles are on top, and up here they're on top. That doesn't work because they have to cancel, so you're going to flip it. Flip it. All so right. we're going to go 6.022 6 times 10 to the 23rd particles of gold, AU, is equal to one mole of AU. Now, on my calculator, now listen how I type this in. I'm going to take 5, because it's 5.00, I'm not going to take 5.00. E, I hit the double E button. 26 divided by 6.022 double E 23. And I get 830.28893. Eight hundred thirty point two eight eight nine four, etc. Now, what, what's the, what are the units on that? Well, we didn't we didn't jump to my immediate uh, favorite thing to do. Which oh, we forgot to cancel out the units. Yes. So we canceled the units. And, and all we have left are moles AU. So I want you to write moles AU there. But now, folks, we do have a significant figure error problem. Yeah. So how many significant figures are our, our number that we started with is usually the number that we always round to, and this is more than that. So we're going to round to the three digits. So that's eight hundred and thirty. Point, remember that point does matter, 830 decimal. point decimal mole AU. Now, I, I want to point out something here because we, we took the generic particles of AU in here. The reality is that we're never going to talk about, hey, I have a certain number of particles of AU. We're going to talk about atoms of AU. So d depending on what we have, if we have a single atom or an element, we're going to call it an atom. If we happen to have something like CO2, we're not going to say we have an atom, atom number, of carbon dioxide. An atom of carbon dioxide. A molecule. We call it a molecule. So right now, we just put the generic in here, but realize we're going to substitute words in here. Don't be frightened. We're like, wait, I understood particles, but what does it mean if there's atoms? It's just that the name of that particle happens to be an atom. So, so, so to summarize, guys, what you're going to do on these is the key is you're going to start with your given as a fraction over one. Then you're going to ask yourself, which of these two fractions do I use? And then decide then, do you leave it or do you flip it? And then you do the math. Canceling is a big thing too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you set it up and then you cancel the units and then bingo, you do the math. You divide things on the bottom, you multiply things on the top, and you get numbers like, like this. And, and the, probably the biggest thing we can leave you with is you got to practice these, right? Yeah. Watch, watching us do it one time and be like, yeah, it makes sense. It's different than when you do some of the problems that we're going to give yeah, you. But we're going to give you lots of problems in class. You're going to figure it out. That's it. See you next time.